What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and today we're talking about that big drop in the spot price of silver and gold. We're in a free fall, baby. <laughs> Let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so gold and silver both took a big dive today. Let's take a look at the numbers. As of filming, gold is down $39.10. It is sitting at $17.56. So if you didn't know, the spot price is the same as the ask price. And silver is down a dollar and four cents. Wow, down over a buck, sitting at twenty-two eighty-nine. So we're below the twenty-three dollar threshold. Platinum is down thirteen bucks. Palladium and rhodium are both up. That's no surprise. They're bouncing back from those dips we saw over the previous few days. So are silver and gold really in a free fall? <laughs> Or will we possibly see gold and silver bounce back? You know, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But what I can do is look at why this happened today and then sort of make some predictions for what will be happening in the future. So let's go check out this article by Kitco News. I think it does a really good job of sort of explaining why silver and gold took a tumble today. Gold prices near session lows following 0.7 rise in US retail sales. So it starts off by saying, gold prices are trading at near session lows as US consumers spend more money in August than expected, easing concerns that the economic recovery is losing momentum. US retail sales rose 0.7% last month, up sharply from July's revised decline of 1.8%, according to the latest data from the US Commerce Department released Thursday. The data significantly beat expectations as economists were forecasting a 0.7% decline. The report said that annually, headline retail sales numbers are up more than 15%. The article continues on and pretty much says more of the same. Basically, the retail sales numbers are up, and so because of this, gold prices are trending down. And silver, as we know, is sometimes looked at as the little brother to gold, and so it's following gold down. They're both declining. Now, is this going to continue? I mean, the article doesn't really say, but if the economy continues to open up, it's possible we could see these numbers come down even more. One thing that I do want to point out is that the inflation numbers for the month of August came out a few days ago, and they didn't really affect the spot price of gold and silver all that much. And the reason was they were what people expected them to be. Inflation is still very high. However, it has come down slightly from this ridiculous high that it was on from the month before in July. I mean, it was literally the highest it's been in my entire lifetime. So when we see it go down 0.3%, everyone's like, okay, well, inflation is still high, but it's coming down slightly. So I guess it was already priced into the markets. That is kind of what people expected. But then when we see these retail sales numbers come out, which are very unexpected and they're much higher than anticipated, investors are thinking, okay, well, I guess everything is sort of opening back up. Sales are doing really well. And so we should be investing in the stock market. And that's kind of why we see this little dip in the spot price of gold and silver. However, I do think this is temporary i think that long term there's still lots of really really positive things for gold and silver i mean i'm still investing today i just spent another 700 dollars on silver uh but yesterday i made a huge purchase so i'm kind of trying to you know cost average here a little bit uh, you always got to keep some dry powder in the keg uh getting ready for these dips because when everything goes on sale that's the time to be buying right you don't want to be buying when everything is going up you want to be buying when it's coming down because you get a slightly better deal so i'm pretty much just showing off all of these cool coins right now <laughs> i have a pretty big uh, collection of 
Marvel, Star Wars, all these different assorted coins, and I think they're really fun to buy. So occasionally I got to break them out. Real quick, I want to show off this Germania Mint coin. These are so cool. If you haven't checked out Germania Mint, definitely do so. Uh, these are not out yet. Uh, but they sent me one early to review. So absolutely beautiful. Germania Mint makes a great product. I mean, they're mostly for collecting. Pretty much all of this stuff out here is for collecting, not really for stacking. But it is still very cool, and I like to buy this stuff. If you do want to watch a video on what's best for stacking, I recently did one on silver rounds, silver coins, junk silver. Definitely go check out that video. I'll put a link up in the corner, as well as a link down below in the description of this video now before we wrap up here there is one more thing i want to talk about and that is the gold to silver ratio or the gsr this is not talked about enough but with the silver and gold spot price free fall today things are actually starting to change here is a look at the six month gold to silver ratio chart and as you can see since june it has been pretty much steadily going up in fact today it went up 1.8 points and it's over 77 to 1. So that means silver is becoming a slightly better buy compared to gold. And because of this, you might want to change your stacking strategy slightly. I'm not exactly sure who came up with this rule, but basically, if the gold to silver ratio is below 60 to 1, you stack only gold. If it's between 60 and 80, you stack gold and silver. And if it goes over 80, then you don't stack gold at all. You just stack silver. So with it going over 77 to 1 today, it's looking like silver might be coming a slightly better buy compared to gold. Now, I do want to stress for a moment here that everyone has their own strategy when it comes to stacking, all right? So this is not a one size fits all. Maybe you have a massive stockpile of silver and no gold in your own stack. Well, you need to have a diverse stack. So maybe you're just picking up gold right now and that's totally fine. Or maybe you're the opposite. You have tons of gold. Well, now with the GSR going up, it's looking like silver might be the one to be going a little bit more heavy on, which is what I am currently doing. I was actually going 50-50 gold and silver. Now I'm sort of buying a little bit more silver as compared to gold that is my strategy that is what i'm doing right now again not for everyone but i am curious what your strategy is i mean does the gold to silver ratio play any effect whatsoever or do you just buy what you want when you feel like buying it are you only focused on silver are you only focused on gold definitely leave me a comment down below in the comment section i'd love to hear what you all are doing and also what do you think about this recent drop in the spot price of gold and silver is it time to back up the truck or do you think it will go a little bit lower it could go lower from here it could go up from here it could go sideways for a while but ultimately over a long period of time i still believe it will continue to go up higher in fact much higher than we are right now and so for that reason i'm still stacking it as always, I want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.